Okay, now we're going to discuss the filter menu. The filter menu is one of the most one of the two most important menus on this pump. It helps the pump calculate the lowest flow to achieve the turnover in your pool at the least cost to you energy-wise. So this menu is very important. In order to delve into this menu further, we hit the select key. Again, that gets us to the different menu items. The very first item on this menu is the fil clean filter pressure menu. This can be a little deceiving. Clean filter pressure doesn't mean what pressure is reading on your filter when your filter is clean. It actually indicates as a default for you to understand at what pressure differential between clean and dirty do I want to have an alarm light light on the screen telling me it's time to clean the filter. So how high you want the pressure to get when it's time to clean the filter, you can set that. Yeah, the differential. So if your filter starts at 10 pounds, and you increase in this particular situation up to 25 pounds at that point the alarm light would light and tell you service system soon it's time to clean so your this filter. isn't the total pressure that's on the filter this is reading the difference in pressure so right now if we had a pressure of filter of, of 10 pounds against it 15 added to it means a 25 psi it's going up it's going to set the alarm to clean it exactly that's and that's how you want it to be read this is the clean filter pressure differential between dirty and clean when um, the alarm goes off and it reaches that pressure and it's time to clean the filter, what's going to happen on the pump? What will happen on the pump is, um, um, this pump again is a lot different than the other breeds of pumps out there. And the main thing is, is a typical pump, if you're flowing water and as your filter gets dirty, the pump water flow slows down. Well this pump, if you want 25 gallons per minute to be your circulation speed. As the pressure goes up, it's going to pump more water or pump faster to keep that gallons per minute and the flow rate the same, correct? Exactly. Okay. So it will maintain 25 gallons per minute up to this clean differential. And when point. it reaches that, then the alarm light's going to go off? The alarm light flashes and at the bottom of the screen it says service system soon, which okay. indicates that it's time to clean your filter. Okay. Now after you clean the filter, do you need to reset anything after that happens? On a typical cartridge filter, it actually will read the difference it can detect the difference. On a DE filter, you would need to use the backwash button to reset that head pressure in the system. Okay. Okay, what do we got next on this? The next item is the turnovers per day. Typically, residential pool, you just are worried about one turnover per day. You have 12,000 gallons in your body of water, you want to circulate 12,000 gallons that day. The next item is cycles per day. Most people are going to go with one cycle per day. That would be running a period of you know, 10 or 12 hours for this pump at one given time. Uh, if you chose to have two cycles per day where you might want your pump to run early in the morning, shut off in the midday of the sun, and then turn back on in the evening, you could change that up to four cycles per day. But if you set it at two cycles per day it would, and you hit enter, be saved, then it will allow you to set up a time in the morning to run from say 8 to noon, shut off from noon to 6 like Southern California Edison would prefer, start up again at 6 and run for the rest of the period of time. So you have two different times, two different cycle times that the pump is running. Mm -hmm. Okay. The next item is going to be the start cycle. And you could actually see on the bottom of the screen here it says start cycle 1 and it says enabled. This is the time of day that we'd like for the pump to start. We'll go ahead and change this. Because this pump runs so quiet, you can run it very early in the morning and you would not hear it. So typically we might start this pump as early as say 4 in the morning. Hit enter to save. And now your new start time is start cycle 1, 4.30 a.m. Go down to the next key by hitting the down arrow button and it says stop cycle 1. So what time do you want it to turn off? So we'll go ahead and hit select and we'll move that over to say 12, 12 p.m. 12 p.m. And we set that to 12 p.m. So now it shuts off by noon. Um, that's really what Edison would like to see you do is to not run between the peak hours. So stop cycle one. Now because we've established two cycles, you have start cycle two and that's also enabled. We could establish the time if we chose to. For this feature, I just want to show you that if you go to start cycle three, it says disabled. That means that 
we've only established two cycles, so the computer automatically knows there is no start cycle, cycle three. three time. It's been disabled because it was never enabled in the in the previous menu. Exactly. Okay. So that's really all there is to the filter menu, but it is a very important one.